Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you. Heavy rain wreaks have walk in northern India, Himachal Pradesh most affected. Protesters in POK highlight lack of opportunities and migrant crisis. And Hindus in India and Nepal offer prayers on first Monday of Shravan. And now for all the details. Heavy torrential rainfall has brought parts of North India to a standstill, with rivers in spate, landslides in the mountains, waterlogging in the plains, which have killed nearly two dozen people in the past two days. Several bridges, roads and buildings were swept away over the weekend in Himachal Pradesh, which also poured to agricultural loss. Meanwhile, drone footage from Punjab state showed vast stretches of land partially submerged in water. Relief operations were underway in various cities, including Mohali and Firozpur. In Punjab, we have deployed 15 teams in Punjab. In Uttarakhand, we have 12 teams. In Himachal, we have 11 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 teams. In Himachal, तो कल भी ये कुछ जगहों पर समस्या हो सकती। Well, the heavy downpour also wreaked havoc in capital New Delhi and neighbouring Gurugram city, making travel difficult for daily commuters and prompting authorities to close schools. Annual rainfall is essential in India as rain support two thirds of the population, which relies on farming. But excessive rainfall causes floods, landslides, and waterborne diseases. And in a major breakthrough, police in India's Jammu and Kashmir on Sunday arrested scores of separatist leaders and their supporters in Srinagar city. The police said the meeting was attended by former terrorist of banned terror outfit, JKLF, and was aimed at its revival and of the Hurriyat in the Union territory. Chairman of All Parties Hurriyat Conference, Masroor Abbas Ansari, was also among the people detained. The separatist organization, which is often accused of working on Pakistan's payroll, had lost visibility in Kashmir Valley after New Delhi launched a crackdown following the abrogation of Jammu and Kashmir's special status. India accuses Pakistan funds unrest in the region. However, Islamabad denies the charge. And microblogging site Twitter has reportedly blocked Pakistan's official Twitter account in Pakistan-occupied Gilgit-Baltistan region. Several users also posted screenshots of tweets sent from the region labeled as originating from India's Jammu and Kashmir. While Pakistan Communication Authority in a statement termed device error netizens have refuted this claim and have slammed the telecom authority for downplaying the incident. Notably, Twitter had blocked access of Pakistan's official Twitter account in Indian territories since March 2023, following a legal demand from New Delhi. India claims Gilgit-Baltistan as its integral part, which has been illegally occupied by Pakistan. Moving on, a protest rally was held by locals and activists in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir recently over the migrant crisis in the region due to apathy of Islamabad to create jobs. A report. Locals and activists in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir held a protest rally recently over the migrant crisis in the region, which is forcing many to risk their lives in the hope of a better life abroad. There were dozens of men from the occupied region in the recent Greece boat tragedy who chose to be trafficked after being fed up of lack of jobs and basic infrastructure in POK due to Islamabad's apathy. The protesters said the ongoing economic meltdown has further aggravated woes of the people and fueled a sense of deprivation. <laughs> क्योंकि यहाँ पे मजदूर को उसकी मजदूरी के जो है वो पेमेंट नहीं होती उसको उसका मामला नहीं मिलता तो लोग मजबूरन यहाँ से बाहर निकलते हैं आप भी हम ये कहते हैं कि समाज के अंदर काम इसके हमारे कश्मीर के अंदर हमें बाहर जाने की जरूरत नहीं पड़े हमें यहाँ से जो है मेहनत मजदूरी के लिए जोरों अरब के अंदर न जाना पड़े 
Locals claim that Pakistan government is hardly bothered about the concerns and aspirations of the people in territories under its illegal occupation and has failed to provide any relief to them. And the Taliban has once again called on the international community to remove sanctions, with spokesman Zabiullah Mujahid saying that it is needed to facilitate engagement of Afghanistan with the world. Since the Taliban seized power in 2021, Afghan assets in foreign reserves were frozen, impeding economic activities and development initiatives. The UN and the Western nations have cited they won't recognize the Taliban administration until they ensure rights of women. Apart from banning education for girls above sixth grade, the Taliban has most recently banned beauty salons. Many public places, including gyms and parks, already remain closed to the women. And Sri Lankan President Ranil Vikramasinghe is scheduled to arrive in Indian capital New Delhi on July 20th for an official visit multiple local media reports have suggested. The upcoming visit will be the first for Vikramasinghe after being appointed as the president last year amid the island nation's worst economic crisis. India had extended multi-pronged assistance of about 4 billion US dollars to Colombo through multiple credit lines and currency support after the island defaulted on its foreign debts. New Delhi was also the first creditor which provided the assurance needed to kickstart the IMF bailout for Sri Lanka. And thousands of Hindu devotees in India and Nepal thronged temples to offer prayers to Lord Shiva on the first Monday of the holy monsoon month of Shravan. The Mondays of Shravan are considered extremely auspicious. Take a look. Thousands of devotees in India gathered at temples to offer prayers to Lord Shiva, the Hindu god of destruction, to seek his blessings on the first Monday of the monsoon month of Shravan. The Mondays of Shravan are considered to be one of the most auspicious days as per the Hindu calendar. As part of the rituals, devotees offer milk, bilva leaves and honey to the Shiva Lingam, the phallus representation of Lord Shiva. It is believed that praying the Lord Shiva during Shravan brings luck and prosperity. Similar scenes were witnessed in neighboring Nepal where devotees thronged the famous Pashupatinath temple since early morning. According to the belief, married women also observe fasting on Mondays of Shravan and pray for longer life for their husbands. Varies the unmarried girls often pray to Lord Shiva to get a suitable match. <laughs> Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.